Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is the software tour of the Samsung Jack. Okay, so the first thing you notice is this is actually a Windows Mobile 6.1 standard device. And we can go through some of the menus right here, we'll just start off. And I don't have the SIM card in right now, but as you can see it says Wi-Fi and it's connected to my Wi-Fi router. So that's a pretty cool feature that this device has Wi-Fi enabled. So we can go down, we can see our missed calls, there's nothing there. We can just scroll over to the right and we can see our voicemail, our text messages, as well as our email. And go back down, we can look at our, our calendar. So we check our appointments, we have no appointments, but it's just the uh, standard Windows Mobile um, calendar feature. We can just go back. And go down, we can play all songs, this is our media player, so if I wanted to play any songs I can do that here. Go down again, we can see our photos, and scrolling right or left will show us our photos. And if we click on one, we can click directly on the photo. We can also zoom in by clicking OK, and we can zoom in or zoom out. And it, the zoom feature is pretty neat on this photo application, so we'll just go back. And go down, we can switch our profiles, so we can have normal. We can also go to our wireless manager, and it's just the uh, standard wireless manager, we can change our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth, and our phone, so if we wanted it to be enabled, we can turn it on or off. We'll just go back. And that's the main... Okay, so if I click Start, I can go into the programs. The first thing we have here is messaging. Of course, that's just our standard text messaging and our email. We'll go back. Go to our calendar, we already saw that. Go to our contacts. It's the generic Windows Mobile contact page, and we can just click on them and it will show us our contact information give us any notes. ActiveSync, of course. AT&T Music, this has some programs in here that are pretty neat. We have our Windows Media Player. We can shop for music, which will launch the internet browser. We get Music ID. We have Music ID, which is a Shazam program. So we can ID a song by listening to the song through the headset. We have XM Radio, which is a internet-based radio program that will has many different channels on it that's a subscription-based program. We have music videos which will launch Moby VJ. So that's a it's like Moby TV but it's for music videos. We have music sync and what this program allows you to do is actually sync on demand with your computer but there's no data connect currently connected so it's not going to do that. And it will give you a, a pin number and then you put that onto your PC and it will sync your music library with your Windows mobile device over the air. So it's a pretty neat feature to play your music over the air from your handset. So we'll just go back. Also have Music Community, which will launch an internet browser, and our music applications. So if you go in here, this will launch an internet browser as well. We have Singular Video, which is pretty weird that they still call it Singular Video, even though there's no singular anymore. And that's just an internet browser, kind of like YouTube. We have MediaNet, which will launch the internet as well. AT&T Mall, which will allow you to download programs if you so desire. We have AT&T Wi-Fi, and what this is going to do, it's going to launch an internet browser and connect you to AT&T Wi-Fi hotspots. So it'll show you where Wi-Fi hotspots are in your area. We have Internet Explorer, AT&T Navigator, which is a subscription-based navigator program. It's about $10 a month. We have IM and email, so we can use our IM clients. So if we wanted to check, do that right now, we can do that. So you have these three, you have AIM, Windows Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger. So we'll go back. Oh, just exit, okay. Yes, close that. We have an organizer, which has our alarms, so we can set our alarms when we want to wake up. It allows for a few more alarms than the Windows Mobile Professional Edition, so that's pretty neat that you can add different alarms. I also have a calculator. It's pretty easy to calculate or use. It's a proprietary Samsung calculator, so we can just type in the numbers and use the D-pad to select which um, corresponding calculation we want to do. We also have our D-Day. We have D-Day, which is kind of like a calendar feature for uh, Windows Mobile Standard. You can enter a title and if you want to add a birthday and you can repeat every year. It's a pretty great feature if you want reminders set up for certain days. I'll just go back. You can search and that will just allow you to search on your Windows Mobile device. We have a tip calculator which will give you a bill amount percentage and how many ways you want to split the bill. And tasks, stopwatch, which is pretty easy. You just start and stop and you can also record that. And our smart converter, 
so we can convert different currencies length width volume area and temperature oops and our voice note so that will record your voice so you can make different notes and our world clock so you can see what time it is and you can so you can see what time it is in different time zones according to which places you would like to see what time it is my stuff is your your um, pictures videos sounds whatever kind of documents you have that it, you won't see through file explorer our games these are demo versions of java based games and the only two that are actually real that you have full versions of is bubble breaker and solitaire which is on pretty much every windows mobile device you go to our applications we have adobe reader Lite edition our call history so we can see how many calls we have none here right now our camera which is actually a pretty good camera um, there's a few settings on here and you won't be able to see too much right now but if we go into menu you can see that it has a camcorder as well you can change from multi shot frame shot mosaic shot a couple other shooting modes and change the um, scene so if we want night mode or auto and change the resolution and the white balance the ISO so you can change to auto the metering area so whatever you want to be metered as the light and white balance and some effects as well as video sharing and it is a 3.2 megapixel camera and go to eBay and that's just a Java based program I won't go into that right now Moby TV which is an over-the-air TV program that allows you to watch t some TV channels on your Windows mobile device mobile banking which is another Java based program Java of course which will launch other Java programs File Explorer, which is where you'd like to go if you want to see any hidden files on your Windows Mobile device. MyCast Weather, which is a Java-based weather program. It is a subscription-based program. Photo Slides, so if you want to see your photos as a slideshow, you can see those as well. And you can look at your pictures and just select one and they'll just transition from one to the next. RSS Reader, so this comes with its own RSS Reader, and you can add your own RSS feeds if you'd like, and, or you can choose the ones that are already in the Samsung Jack. The speed dial, you can designate different numbers. So one, of course, is for voicemail on most Windows mobile devices, and most phones in that matter. You have Office Mobile, so it comes with Excel. I added OneNote Mobile. It comes with PowerPoint and Word Mobile, so these will sync up directly with your PC, which is very nice. We have Wicca Mobile, which is a, another Java-based program, and of course, Task Manager. And another neat feature about this is it actually shows internet sharing in your programs, which is a great feature if you want to tether your Windows Mobile standard device to your PC. Unfortunately, for this version on the Samsung Jack, it does not allow you to select MediaNet but I will show you how to hack that in my next video. This, program, this, this phone has many restrictions with security, so I will show you how to disc disable those in my next video. And of course settings. Voice command, which will read your emails, text messages, and appointments. So this is the software tour of the Samsung Jack, and you can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets, and make sure to follow up to watch the video of how to remove all the security so you can add programs that are from third party companies and rem and enable the internet sharing thanks for watching